I'm Sam, and I'm Siufunua, and these are our stories. My dad used to work at the uh, Long Beach shipyard where mostly all the Samoan men worked. He had to have uh, gloves, his helmet, safety glasses. He was a ship fitter there, but working there probably 18 or 19 years. My dad goes to work on Monday. He goes to work and grabs his hat. He's in a rush. He doesn't realize, you know, he's just putting his PPEs on and everything, getting ready. When he got home from work, he sat us down. He said, Junior, uh, Marcy, Sam, come here. You sit over there. Sit over there in the middle. You guys sit here. I want to spoken to you. I want to know who do this, huh? Who do this to my head? Can you believe it? Look it. Can you believe it? Oh no, I don't believe it. Uh, it says a sopo polo. Who did that? Is this what do you think of your daddy? Huh? I, I, you you pride to your daddy like this? Is that what you think of your daddy? Okay, I tell you what, Junior, you think uh, your father is a soccer polo? Is this what you guys think about your dear dad, Junior? I know you know how to draw. I know you as very good. You know, you learned this, you got a key from the God. But listen here, boy. I know you're going to go something, you're going to do something good, because I know you draw very uh, good. You know, you make all kind of pretty things. But why you use the gift from the God and use it like this on your father? You taught the so poor Polo. Yeah, I thought you was gonna grow up to be the art, but right now you're gonna grow up to be a guy. You know, that's what you do, it, boy. You're gonna be the guy if you keep doing it to your father, if that's what you want. And Sam, why are you laugh? You think it's funny? You think everything is funny? Huh? You think you can laugh it? You try to laugh, everything is funny. You know what? You are so stupid. You know what? You are dumb. You call it dumb. You know, they call it, you know, you're going to be what they call in America, you're going to be a stupid dumb. You know, that's what you're going to be. You better be, shut your mouth. You, you laugh too much, boy. You better don't laugh. Oh, you, you, you think you're smart, huh, Sam? <laughs> well, what is 700 million thousand, 221 times 500 million, 428? Yeah, you don't know it, so kiss my ass, you stupid. And Tom, you don't even know what the polo is. You don't even have the phone on your, your, your legs. You better, you just relax right there. You don't know what the phone or the polo is. Just think about it. Huh? What? And what, what do you say? Oh, okay. You know what? Can you believe it? Your sister, she want me to kill you free. She want me to kill you folks. She want me to murder you. That's what she want. You folks better be careful. You know, everybody laugh at me at work. Everybody laugh at me all day at my work. And I don't know why everyone is laugh. They just keep laugh at me and laughing. Even my black friends, they laugh at me. They even make a song. So po, so po, po polo. I don't like that song. I don't know what that means. Why do you sing that song to me? Fakukau. My name is now So po polo, okay? And my name is So polo. Okay? Thank you, son. I appreciate what you do it. I really appreciate it. So po so po so polo. So po polo. You know what? I'm starting to like this song now. Thank you very much. Thank you, son. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now my name is So Polo. My name is Tom, and I'm a Sufanua. And these are our stories. I was in Wilmington with 816 square feet, two bedrooms, one bath. But my dad had a patio built in the backyard years ago. To my sister friends, it was called the party place. <laughs> to my brother's friends, it was called college. You have many memories of that patio, good and bad. My sister Fanny, Fanny Sufanua Roberts. 
no need for introduction. If you were to take my dad's mouth and put it on a woman, it'd be Fanny. <laughs> and because my sister Fanny was a lot like my dad, they used to go at it. You seem to forget that this is a girl that threw a whole turkey in a food fight. So if you were ever around and you were lucky enough to witness the battles between my sister and my father, you went for a treat. There was a time when um, my sister was in the patio partying with her friends and my dad opened the back door. He didn't really yell. He was just like ear hustling. He was sitting there listening to see if he could hear who was back there talking. But there was one voice he recognized. And it's because of the laugh. Fanny. Fanny. And she'd say, yeah. Whop your god dang. You folks make too much noise. And she'd say, OK. You folks making me crazy. And she'd say, OK. Love you. OK. I hate you. <laughs> Fanny, what the hell are you guys doing back there, huh? Why you guys make so much noise? I tried to sleep. I hear you. What, is, what do you keep saying? Yo, 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 yo. What you play with a yo, yo? Oh, man. And why your husband, he keeps saying, turn it up or turn it off? Oh, my goodness. You know what, Fanny? Tau tala tala means too much talk. Tala vali vali means go for a walk. Why don't you guys go for a walk? Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Let me see. What, what is this? Is this for me? Oh, so I can play the pingo with this money? Oh, talo fai lao pele, you are the bestest. You are the bestest. Oh my gosh, oh my lord. Thank you, God. Yeah, go ahead. You guys have fun. Do what you want. You want to make a cake? Go ahead, you can eat it all by yourself. Go ahead. Have a party, you know? Party people. You want to get funky? Go ahead. 